Hello, sports fans and football fans. I'm here again with another Arizona Wranglers football game in our Sportsman Z football season. Uh, as you can see, Arizona is currently seven and five and in fourth place. We are a game behind the Oilers. We are two behind the Cowboys and we are three behind the Vikings. And if we look at the schedule, you can see that we are now playing Seattle. We are playing at, uh, um, Seattle's coming to us. So we will see what happens there. Seattle currently is only five and eight. So let's get on with it. Um, again, if you remember, I had uh, technical difficulties with the last game, hoping not to have those again. I will still only be able to play part of the game or a half or something before I'll have to store the video to my desktop get it off of Screencast-O-Matic and then go back in and re and then do the second half. And hopefully I won't lose the game to that point. Now I, I also can try to save it, which I didn't do last time. I didn't have the foresight to do that the last time. So I would save it this time. And uh, yeah, let's launch the game. Seattle will be kicking off. So they're going to kick off to us, and there's already a flag on the play on the kickoff. But we catch the ball. We've got it out past the 20, past the 25, past the 30, past, and up to the 35. Um, I am going to decline the penalty because I like that field position. So we're going to do the usual flat pass to the tight end. To start out. And that got us a first down. Nice. Okay, let's go off tackle to the halfback. Going to move as quickly as I can because I want to get as much in before there's a problem. So that is, um, we've got a second and six at the 49. I'm going to go line buck with the fullback. And he gets some nice yards. I don't think Seattle was even looking for that. Man, that was that was great. Let's go off tackle halfback. Maybe they're bad against the run. Uh, no, no, I don't think they are. So we got a second and 12. Uh, let's go flat to the tight end. Probably looking for the pass, though. Well, that was, I mean, that was a nice gain. We got uh, six yards on it. So we got a third and six. And I'm going to go flat on third and six to the split end. We're at the Seattle 28. So I may just go for it if I don't make it. And I think that's what's going to happen. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go short pass. It's a risky pass. Uh, you know, Landry is only... just so good at a, at a short pass, but, and it's incomplete. So they're gonna take over. We didn't uh, get a first down. I am going to look for the pass. This is the 95, um, 1995 Seahawks. And also I have an announcement to make. I recently bought the 68 season and the, uh, and the 77 season. So in my next season, I can have some 77 teams, some 68 teams, and uh, change it up a little bit. They got a first down there. I'm gonna go balanced on first down. And we do stop them in the backfield, I think. Well, eh, no gain. So he's got a second and 10 at his 42. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna look past. There is a flag on the play. And Myra is out on his own and running. And uh, he's got a first and 10th to 47. I guess the, the penalty was on us. I'm going to look run. Nope. With Kurt Warner, they're not running. I don't know what's going on there. But um, all right, I'm going to look pass on this one. Probably going to hand it off to Warner. Yes, he does. But we got Warner after only a very short game. So they have a second and nine at our 36. I'm going to look pass. 
All right, I was I was right. Let's that that didn't translate to stopping him though. He got a first down. So they have a first and ten at R23. Now I'm gonna look run. I'm gonna look run and I'm gonna key on uh Warren. Well, if they got Warren in there, whoa, all right, I did, and it yeah, paid off. So they got a second and thirteen at our twenty-six. Now I'm gonna look pass. And he's out on the run again, and he gets good yards. Oh, wait, I'm going to accept the penalty. Yeah. All right, he's got a second and 23 at the 36, and I'm going to look for the pass. And we stop him quickly. Good. Third and 21, I'm definitely looking for the pass. And I'm going to pass and double team Galloway, Joey Galloway. And he runs it, but we do get him. So he's going to have to kick it from the 32. I wouldn't say that's a gimme, but, you know, we'll see what happens. He does. It looks like he's going to make it, though. So he makes it, and Seattle goes up 3 nothing. And there's 540 left in the first quarter. Tolbert catches it, and he's got a good return, too. Nice, and he gets it out to the 32. So we got a first and 10 at the 32. I'm going pro set. I'm not going to do that. So let's try a long to the split end just to see what happens. See if we can catch him napping. And we can't. I thought maybe that would be, but no. All right, let's go off tackle with the halfback. I don't think he's looking for it. Uh, maybe he wasn't, but we only got four yards out of it. So now we got a third and six. Pro set. Flat pass to the tight end. And that'll be complete for a first down and a lot more. Nice. So we got a first and 10 at Seattle's 41. I'm going to go short to the flanker. And that's going to be missed the mark. You can tell that. So we're going to go back to the pro set. And we're going to go end run with the halfback on second and 10 from the Seattle 41. Looks like he'll get out. He gets a little breathing room and gets four yards. So we got a third and six at the Seattle 37. I'm going to go flat to the tight end. And he gets sacked on a flat pass. All right, uh, fourth and 10. Yeah, I got a punt. I can't be that reckless. Um, let's go coffin corner punt. And that doesn't look like much of a coffin corner punt. And it doesn't even look like we really nailed him that deep for having done that. So I'm going to go balanced coming out of the chute. And we sack Myra. He tries to run again, that, that squirrely guy. All right, so now we're going to go pass. We're looking for the pass on second and 12. And they run it. And they run it well. So they got a third and three. I'm going to look for... I'm going to go balanced. And we're offside, so it doesn't matter. They got a free play. They got a first and 10 at their own 35. I'm going to go looking for the pass. Now there's another flag on the play. And it was on us, so they got a first and 10 at the Arizona 40. So we're just like, we're just, we're walking him down the field. I'm going to look for the run. He does run, but we don't really stop him until he gets eight yards. 
So he's got a second and two at the 32. I am going to go, I'm going to put the in the balanced and he's at our 32. So, but so the whole thing, the whole thing about punting didn't really work in our favor. All right, third and two at the 32. Um, I am going to definitely look pass and I'm going to double team Galloway. And we stop him, but he gets the first down. So he's got a first and 10 at the 30 now. So we're going to have to get, really, we're going to have to get a turnover here somehow. We're going to have to force him to fumble and pick it up, or we're going to have to intercept it or something, because apparently he can kick. All right. I know. <clears throat> he's got a, oh, the, there was a penalty on us, so now it's still first and 10 at the 30. Uh, all right, and we don't stop him there. He gets six yards on that. Um, he's got a second and four at the 24. And this could be a big sack. All right, that was a big sack. We needed that. We absolutely needed that. So now he's got a third and 17 at the Arizona 37. I'm going to pass and double team Galloway. And uh, I don't know if that was, was that complete? Yeah, it was complete. No, it's incomplete. So he's going to punt. We're forcing him to punt, which is good. <clears throat> 12.57 left in the half. <clears throat> and that's Rick Darn Tootin. And he is going to get a great punt that's going to give us the ball in the one. First and 10 at our one. Nice. All right. Well, we're going to go line buck with the fullback. And he gets up out of there <laughs> in a big way. Nice. All right. Well, now we're going to go off tackle with the halfback. And there is a uh, penalty on the play. Hopefully, it's on them. I'm going to decline it. We'll take the we'll take the yards. So we got a first and ten at the Arizona thirty. So we got out of there, which is nice. Needed to do that. Uh, we're going to go flat to the tight end. And it's going to be incomplete. And Landry not having one of those games. Uh, we're going to go, on second and 10, we're going to go short to the flanker. And it's complete for a first down. Nice. So, uh, first and 10 at the Arizona 43. I'm going to go flat to the halfback. Incomplete. So I'm going to go draw play to the halfback. Don't do that very often. And that paid off. That was a nice run. So we got, well, he got four yards. Um, so yeah, let's go to the pro set. We've got a third and six. I'm going to go off tackle. I'm going to go line buck with the halfback, I guess. I guess I can't run an off tackle out of, out of there. Oh, God, he stopped us. Fourth and four. You know what? I'm going for it. Yeah, call me crazy in the comments if you want. Flat pass to the tight end. He's got to make this completion if he ever made one in his life. And he doesn't. So we give him the ball. First and 10 at the 49. All right, uh, I'm going to put in the pass. And that is what he's doing. It would be nice if we could pick him off, but really the, uh, well, it's incomplete. The sack that we had on him last time, though, was, was stellar. And is that complete? Incomplete. Nice. <clears throat> so he's got a third. <clears throat> geez, sorry. 
He's got a third and 10 at our 49. So I am going to put in the pass defense. And that's going to be incomplete. So we got to we put in the punt return. So his offense really isn't that, hasn't been that stellar yet, really. He's gotten a field goal and we've stopped him two other times. One time where he could have even had another field goal. I'm going to just uh, let the punt bounce. So we got a first and 10 at the Arizona 20. I'm gonna do a look in to the tight end. And I, it was that complete? Yeah, four yards. So we got a second and six, 721 left in the half. Going to do a short pass to the split end. And that's incomplete. And I think right here I'm going to save the game. Uh, we'll call it um, Seattle. So now I've saved it. If the if the computer stops the game at any point, at least we can be at that point. So 7:05 left, third and six, Arizona 24. I am going to go off tackle with the halfback, and they weren't looking for it. We got the first down. So first and ten at the Arizona 30. I'm going to go, you know what? He's probably not looking for this at all. So I'm going to go end run with the halfback. As time winds down, he's less and less likely to look for the run. But we only got two yards there. Second and eight at the Arizona 32, flat pass to the tight end. And that's going to be complete for a first down. Nice. I didn't notice we had the blocking back in. I don't really like the blocking back formation. We're going to go flat to the split end. There's a penalty on the play. And that's going to be, uh, I'm going to accept the penalty. Yeah, no, no doubt. First intent, the Seattle 39. Now we got to start to really try to move this thing. So I'm going to go short to the split end. 5-11 left. And he catches it, and he's going to get some serious yards, maybe even a touchdown. No, they stop him at the four. Are you killing me? And you are. All right, so we got a first and goal at the four. Um, I am going to go short to the split end. And it's a touchdown for us. All right, we take the lead. So see, I mean, maybe my play calling isn't that great sometimes, but. Let's do the extra point, just put it up and let's, yeah. So there's 415 left in the half. And uh, before I kick off, I'm going to save the game again. So I uh, definitely wanna save the game when we've got a lead. I mean, you know. So anyway, it looks like it's going to be in the end zone. He'll take it on the 20. So he's got a first and 10 at his own 20. I'm going to try the linebacker blitz and see what that does. Oh, they well, they were offside. So they've got a first and 15. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do linebacker blitz. I mean, why not? And that's why not. He gets a long pass completion. So we're going to go pass first and 10 at his 41. And then he gets a lot of yards running the ball. So I'm going to I'm going to put in the run. No, I shouldn't. Have. Oh, yeah, I should have. OK, yeah. So he's got a second and eight at the 45. Now I'm putting in the pass. Time is winding down on him. He's got to really get going. And he does pass, and I still don't stop him. And he gets out of bounds, it looks like, too. So he's got a first and 10 at our 22. I'm going to put in the pass. And we're offsides. So I'm going to put in balance. Let's just put in balance and see what happens. Third and seven. And we stop him in the backfield, I think. 
So he's got a second and six at the Arizona 18. I'm going to put in, yeah, let's put in the run. There's a penalty on the play. Hopefully it's on him. No, it isn't. He's got a first and 10 at our 13. All right, uh, let's go. Let's put in a run. And we stop him, but only at the two yard line. So it looks like he's about to take it in. I'm going to run and key on Warren. And that's incomplete. Nice. I am going to run and key on Warren. And we stopped him. And now it's third and goal at the three. And I'm going to put in the run defense and key on Warren. And he gets a touchdown. So he's going to take a 10-3 lead or a 10-7 lead. Kick defense, put it in. All right, uh, there, Seattle's gonna kick off. There's only 45 seconds left, so I'm going to save the game at the half. And then we are going to save the first half and then come back for the second half after I've saved the first half. Let's go long to the split end. I mean, we got nothing to lose, right? We're going to get the ball in the second half, but, uh, you know, it'd be nice to score something right here. That's incomplete. So we got 37 seconds left. I'm going to go long to the flanker. And that's going to be an outlet pass, but that was nice. I mean, it got us the first down. So we got only some seconds left. I'm going to go long to the split end. 15 seconds in the uh, half. And it's incomplete. Second and 10 at the Arizona, 38 seconds left. I'm going to go long to the flanker. Probably going to overshoot him, and he does, or undershoot him. So uh, we've got a third and 10 at the Arizona 30. Yeah, let's go long. Test that Seattle D. Uh, completed. Nice. Let's see if I can. No, I can't call timeout. So we're going to save the game right there. And we're going to look at stats before I leave. Let's look at the box score. We've got uh, the score is 10 to 7. Meyer is 11 of 16 for 123 yards. Glandry is 11 of 22 for 147 yards. Each for a touch thrown for a touchdown, neither for an interception. Chris Warren has run the ball 11 times for 18 yards. Lamar Smith has run it twice for 17. Tim Spencer's run eight for 24 yards. Kevin Long twice for 34, which is great. And then Randy S. Johnson, one for 14. Joey Galloway's caught three passes for 37 yards. And Brian Blades has caught two for 42. We got Ricker, who's caught five for 51, and Tremaine Johnson, who's caught three for 45. So with that, I am going to um, go to the next half. Hello, we're back, and everything went well. So now we're, well, wait a minute. Why are we kicking off to them? Oh, no, they did kick off to us in the first half. So, all right. All right, so they moved it out to the 30 on the kickoff. I'm going to go, I'm going to put in the balanced. And we stop 
the running back uh, after five. So let's go. Let's go pass. Uh, no, they run it, but we stopped him still. So he's got a third and three. I'm going to put in the pass on third and three, pass defense, and he runs it, and he runs it really well. Who knew Chris Warren was so good? All right, so we're gonna. I'm gonna double team the split end. We're putting everybody in this basket, and they well, they passed, but I guess the wrong receiver. They got a second and ten at the Arizona 37. I'm gonna go balanced on this. It seems to work pretty well against him, and we sack him, and it does work really well. So I'm gonna go. I'm looking for the pass on third and 16 from 43, and he runs. And, oh, whoa, we're going to get, I'm going to jump on it. Yeah, just fall on the ball. That's all I want to do. All right, so we got a turnover from him on the on the fumble, and that was, that was key. That was really good. Going to go flat to the split end. And he catches it, and he gets a first down from it, too. So we got a first and 10 at the Arizona 41. I'm gonna go flat to the flanker. And no, incomplete. Second and 10, I'm gonna go short to the flanker. Ah, he's gonna come in and sack me, knew it. Well, now we really do have to go. Um, We've got to go uh, short pass. Short to the second tight end, Cozen. Let's try him. And he catches it, and he uh, doesn't get the first down, though. We got a fourth and seven. We're at Arizona's 44. Huh. I have to say I'm going to punt. 10-7, I'm going to punt. Coffin corner punt. Let's try that again. And uh, Corral does it, but it's not that great of a. I mean, he's going to have it at the 23. That's not really that big of a deal. All right, he's got a first and 10 at the 23. I'm going to go balance. The balance defense seems to work well against these guys. And we stop his run, but after like seven yards, six yards. So I'm going to go run, and then, of course, he passes. But it's incomplete, so thank you. So he's got a third and four. I am going to go balanced. That's what I'm doing on that. And he is going to pass, and it's incomplete, so he'll punt. Putting in the punt return. 8.53 left in the third quarter, 10-7, Seattle leading, 1995 Seattle. I am going to try to catch the ball and run with it. And there's a penalty, hopefully, on him. Um, if we accept the penalty, it's Arizona ball on the Seattle 41. If we decline it, it's the Arizona ball on the Arizona 44. All right, well, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to accept it. So we got a first and 10 at Seattle's 41. I'm going to do end run with the halfback. And he gets some yards. He got like six, yeah. So second and four, I'm doing off tackle with the halfback. 8.01 in the third quarter, and he gets like nothing there. No gain. So we got a third and four at the Seattle 35. I'm going to go flat. To the split and he catches it and he's going to get some yards too nice so we're going to have the ball to 12 first and 10 at the seattle 12. i'm going to go end run with a halfback and he gets a couple yards three gets three yards second and seven i'm going off tackle with the halfback. And he's not going to get anything there. No gain. 
All right, third and seven at the Seattle nine. I'm going to go short pass to the split end. And remember, Corral is not good at field goals. He's terrible at field goals, in fact. And we get a touchdown, so we don't have to worry about that. Thank you. And I'm going to just kick the extra point. He's okay at extra points. He's fine on extra points. But on field goals, the guy is terrible. So we're going to kick off. And there's a already a penalty. Probably on us, I'm going to guess. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, it was on us. So we're going to, he's making us kick off again. And it doesn't look like he caught it any. Well, he's going to have a nicer return, that's for sure. He's got a first and 10 at his 43 after that. So I'm going to put in the balanced defense. The balanced defense has been helping us. It's been doing really well for us because I can't really tell what he's going to do. This time I'm going to guess run now. Second and six, I'm guessing run. And we do stop him right before the first down. I'm going to run and key on Warren. And Myra runs it. God. I'm going to guess pass. And he does, he is going to pass. And was that caught? No, I don't I don't think it was. It's second and six at the 39. I'm gonna guess pass again. He'll probably run it, but well he he ran it with himself and I did stop him, but now he's got a third and five, and we are going to guess pass. Really the only thing to do. And we sacked him. Nice. He's gonna have to punt. Fourth and eight at the Arizona 41, and we're going to put in the punt return. And I'm going to I'm going to try to run with it because we can't have the ball that deep in our territory. And he does get some yards, so that was good. I'm going to go off tackle with the fullback Boatner. And he gets stopped quickly. All right, now I'm going to go save the game again. SE2, SEA2. Just to be on the safe side in case the thing does anything squirrely. All right, well, you know, we've been completing some short passes at times. I'm going to try to go short to the split end right out of the block. And he gets a first down with it. Nice. And more. And maybe a lot of yards on that baby. And he does. That was sweet. Okay, so. Uh, we got 22 seconds in the third quarter. I am going to, and it's first and 10 in Seattle's 24. I am going to go off tackle with the halfback. And we have a 14 to 10 lead too, so. And he gets a couple yards, it looks like. Four, he gets four. Nice. I'm going to go look into the tight end on second and six. Incomplete. All right, third and six at the Seattle 20. I'm going to go short. This is the time to go short to the second uh, wide receiver, Douglas. And he gets the first down. Nice. I guess, uh, you know, it's Landry likes to complete the short pass when we're down there in the. Uh, in the score zone. And that's incomplete. So we got a second and goal. I'm going to go off tackle with the halfback. Let's see what that gets. That gets us a few yards. We got a third and goal at the Seattle three. You know what I'm doing? I'm going line buck with long. And he scores. That was a great call by me. You got to believe they were looking for the pass. So now it's 20 to 10. We're up 20 to 10, and we can get 21 10 if Corral makes the extra point. 
and it looks like he's going to. So it's 21-10. We're up by 11 now, and we're in the fourth quarter too. So too bad for him. Looks like that's going to be another win for Arizona quite possibly. And we stop him at the 21, which is actually pretty good. And now I'm going to look for the pass. I'm going to look for the pass pretty much all the time now because he's got to get 11 points. He has to score twice. There's no other way around it. And in between, we would get the ball, and there's only 12-21 left in the game. And it's intercepted. I'm going to try to run it back. That was a good call, too. All right, so we got a, a first and 10 at the Seattle 33. End run with the halfback. Yeah, you knew he was going to be looking for the run. All right, we're going to go short to the split end on second and 13. And he sacks us. So. Second and third and 19 at the Seattle 42. Well, I'm still going to go short pass, even though you rarely get 19 yards on a short pass. But he did get some yards. So, you know what? I am going to. I'm going to cough and corner punt. Because at this point, we don't really need yards or touchdowns or really anything. We just need to nail it deep and hope he can't come back out to, I mean, he's got to get 11 points. So, and we stop him. So he's got a second and three. I'm going to go balanced. There's going to be a penalty on that play and it's on us. I'm going to run and key on Warren. I don't know why, but, and we're off sides again. He's got a first and 10 the Seattle 19. I'm going to look for the pass. He runs it anyway, but we stop him after two. I'm going to look for the pass because there's only 9.05 left now. And there's another penalty probably on us, I'm going to guess. No, it's on him. I am going to, if I decline the penalty, it's Seattle's ball on the Seattle 22 with a third and seven. I'm going to decline the penalty. I want to give him the third and seven on his 22. And then we're going to put in the pass. And that is going to be incomplete. Now we'll see what he does. He's going to punt. I don't know why he's punting down 11 with only 825 left, but but he is. And I'm going to try to return the ball. He only gets nothing. I'm going to go look in past the fullback. How do you like them apples? And it's incomplete. Probably on his card, I would have guessed. Second and 10, the Arizona 34. I'm going to go short to the split end. And he catches it for a first down. The Seattle pass defense, I'm guessing, is not that good. So we got a first and 10 at the Arizona 47. I'm going to go short to the split end. And it's incomplete. Second and 10 at the Arizona 47. I'm going to go short to the flanker. I mean, really, we should be running the ball because that would eat time, more time. Third and 10 at the Arizona 47. We're going to go short to the split end. And he catches it for a first down. Nice. Now with 6.33 left and a first down, I am going to go, I'm going to start running again. Off tackle with Spencer. Let's 
Second and three, I'm going to go line buck with the fullback long. He gets stopped quickly, though. No gain. We got a third and three at the uh, Seattle 33. I'm going to go flat to the tight end. And there's going to be a penalty on the play. But he catches the ball, and I'm going to decline the penalty. I'll take the play. I always like to take the play and get the guys the stats. We got a first and 10th, the Seattle 21. I'm going to go line buck with the halfback, Spencer. And he gets some yards. Nice, six yards on that. Got a second and four at the Seattle 15. Now I'm going to go short, try to get that touchdown to the tight end. And he catches it, but he doesn't quite get the touchdown. But he does get the first down. So let's go line buck with Boatner. And he's not going to make it. That wasn't even a line buck. All right, we got a second and goal to six. I'm going to go short to the split. And he's going to be sacked. So we got a second and goal, or a third and goal at the 12. Third and goal to 12, we got to get yards. So I'm just going to go line buck with the halfback, and then we're going to let Correll try to make a field goal. Unless we get a touchdown, which is what happened. All right. So we're going to kick the extra point. And that's going to put us up 28-10. And now, I mean, he's, he's done. He's toast. He's history. And I think I am going to, um, I mean, at this point, we've won the game. So I am going to autoplay to um, to one minute left in the game. And it's still 28-10, and we're lining up for a field goal, and I'm going to try to make the field goal, I suppose, even though he won he, he will. Never seen that guy make a field goal from that far out. All right, well, 31-10, 22 seconds left. So very good for us. Uh, let's go look at the stats here. Just before we leave. Myra is 13 of 24 for 138 yards and a touchdown and an interception. Landry is 22 of 39. Nice bounce back for 324 yards. Two touchdowns. Uh, Chris Warren's rushed it 19 times for 75 yards. Tim Spencer's rushed it 18 times for 63. And Kevin Long's rushed it four times for 37. And Corral has... Uh, Corral is um, one for one on field goals from 40 to 49. That is unbelievable. And of course, he's made every extra point. So we're going to, uh, yeah, whatever, put in the pass defense. I mean, there's only 15 seconds left. So we're going to be pretty good after this game. Put in the pass defense, but we're going to have to see how it ends up. He runs it, and probably one second left. I'm going to put in the pass. He's got a third and three, gets the first down, but that's going to be it for the game, I think, right? Right, game over, baby. So we get out of that, and uh, so after that, we are nine and five. And we are two games behind both the Vikings and the Cowboys. So, and unfortunately, the playoffs are going to be the top two teams in each conference.
play a conference championship. And then there's the Super Bowl. So we got to get into the top two, which means it's, well, it's not likely because we played 14 games. There's only 16 in the season and we're two games back. We're two games out. So we would have to win both of our last two games and either Dallas or Minnesota would have to uh, would have to lose one of them because if they go one and one they get 11 wins no we would have to win both of our last two and either dallas or the vikings would have to um lose both for us to slip into one of those spots with no problems now if they one of them goes one and one and gets 11 wins and we win both of our last two that gives us 11 wins and then you know then you're going to deciders you know um based on record and head-to-head -head competition you don't want to do that but anyway i have rambled on enough uh remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't uh leave a like and a comment but for right now that's it for me sportsman z signing off